Hello, my name is Lance. I am here with Say Coffee. We are a roastery in Brooklyn. I am the co-owner, director of coffee slash green buyer for the company. And we are here with Leaderboard. And the coffee that we submitted to the Leaderboard game is an Ethiopian coffee called Bubu Saisa. It is a coffee from Mbella in the Fuji region in the south of Ethiopia. Um, we chose this coffee because it is an extremely clean, elegant, and what I would consider to be an excellent representation of the region and, you know, the flavor profile that we particularly are looking for from the south of Ethiopia in Fuji. Uh, this coffee is pretty floral, it's tea forward, it has a lovely kind of like a stone fruit nectar um, and also like some raspberry like florality qualities to it and it's very expressive. Uh, this coffee for the last couple of years has been one of our favorite Ethiopians consistently. Uh, so we just thought it'd be a fun, fun coffee to use uh, for this game. Visual cues for how to identify this coffee would be, this coffee is very small. Uh, the seeds are very small, which is generally just due to that extreme elevation that poppy is grown at. Uh, it's very high density poppy. Um, and, you know, it's going to have very, very typical Southern Fuji like qualities as far as like the taste of profile is going. So, uh, I guess potentially it could be confused with like a, a high grown Gesha. Um, but other than that, it's going to probably be pretty easy to identify as an Ethiopian coffee just because of the, uh, the aromatics, the intense florality, um, and kind of just like the, the big stone fruit sort of quality to this coffee. If we're going into brewing this coffee, uh, what we would recommend is really going after it and trying to get as much extraction out of this coffee as we can. And what we're going to see there is that's going to be the limiting factor is going to be your grinder. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about a couple different approaches depending on a grinder that you might have at home and, and we'll start there. So if we're looking and talking about a grinder that is going to be kind of like a general home grinder, something like the Fellow Oat or something like that, we would recommend a 1 to 17 ratio um, and something around like a 4 to 5 minute full drawdown for your time. And what we should be able to achieve with uh, the fellow oat, if it has the SSP for upgrade, is something around a 23% extraction. Once we get above 23%, we're going to generally start to see too many fines from that grinder and we're going to start getting the stringency. If you have a more top of the line grinder, like a monolith max um, with machine aligned birds and high, high, high uniformity bird sets, uh, we can take that ratio all the way up to like 1 to 20, even 1 to 21. and uh, look for in a V60 or pour over style, like something like a, a up into 10 minute three times. Uh, so really, really go after the extraction here. We should be able to see this particular copy with the grinder like that go all the way up into 25, 26, even 27% at times. Um, so that's how I would recommend brewing this coffee is really just try to grind as fine as possible until you hit astringency and then back off a little bit. And again, with like a normal home grinder, that should be about a four to five minute brew time. And with a really high end machine aligned grinder, you can take that all the way up into 10 minute brew times. Um, I really hope that helps. And I really encourage you to, you know, play with this coffee and really see what you can get out of it. Uh, it's a very high quality coffee with a lot to offer. So uh, have fun. Thank you so much.